With writing, Old English stole a march on other languages spoken in Europe at the time. Prayers were recorded and books of the Bible translated. The laws of the land were written down and the language soon became capable of recording and expressing an increasingly wide and subtle range of human experience. And in the right hands, Old English was now powerful and supple enough to take you to imaginary worlds, fire the blood, be poetry. What? We gardena in Yardaum, Theod Kuninger, Thrungefrunon. So, the spear days and days gone by, and the kings who ruled them had courage and greatness. We have heard of those princes' heroic campaigns. No one knows who composed the epic Beowulf sometime between the mid 7th and end of the 10th century. It's the first great poem in the English language the beginning of a glorious tradition which will lead to Chaucer, Shakespeare and beyond. The poem celebrates the glory days of the Germanic tribes, epitomised in the heroic warrior who gives the poem its name. The power of the language can be heard in this passage, which introduces Beowulf's archenemy, the monster Grendel. The comb of Mora, under misliothum, Grendel Gongan. In off the moors, down through the mist bands, God cursed Grendel came greedily loping. The bane of the race of men roamed forth, hunting for a prey in the high hall. Spurned and joyless, he journeyed on ahead and arrived at the bawn. On bread the Biala Hudig, the Higa Borgan was. Then his rage boiled over. He ripped open the mouth of the building, maddening for blood. 